Hello, welcome to Tech Transform. In my last video, uh, I have de detailed discussion about how we are going to implement breadth first search and how the breadth first search algorithm is going is going to help in order to find the degree of separation between the superheroes. If you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend that go and watch that video, then come to this video. So uh, this video is mainly uh, uh, based upon why why I'm creating this because next I am going to create. Uh, actually write a spark code in order to implement the BFS algorithm in a spark so before going to write actual code uh, in this session we are what we are going to do we are going to drill down what are the steps needed to do that means it's like an algorithm we are going to write and the number of steps we are going to perform and in the next session I'm going to convert those steps in actual uh, spark code so let's get started and also here we are going to discuss about uh, uh, what is accumulators and what is the role of its why it is necessary here so let's get started so as you already know that this is the data representation of our uh, superhero social graph so each hero id is ha has have this has this connections of hero ids so this hero id is linked to this much these much uh, hero this much superheroes so what we are going to do we are we are going to implement bfn is spark how each uh, each each line actually represent a node with a connection and a color and distance we are going to uh, remember in my last example I have shown you because uh, if any node we are going to uh, explore and we are going to further explore that particular node what we have to do we have to we have to first first find out the what are the connections that particular node is having and we are going to give a color so initially we are going to give a uh, gray color and because that node is uh, going to explore and we are going to, uh, we are going to maintain a distance uh, a degree of separation for that particular node from where we want to from where we want to uh, n know the distance so f initially we start with a higher value infinity so infi we have we have to give some value for infinity so we are giving uh, 9999 so that is the that's uh, that is difference is actually hi very high it's not going to uh, so that's why we are keeping the high difference so we are going to you can see that our each line we can co we can convert like this in our uh, uh, Marvel graph stock txt file this hero ID we can say this link to this hero ID so th to this we are going to convert into this format into this data in into this data structure as our theory discussed in BFS so first will be hero actual hero ID then the comma then the again uh, nested tuple cities so this hole is, is a tuple inside that there, there is a tuple again so nested tuple inside this nested tuple what is that here we are maintaining the connections for this hero ID and we are keeping the distance uh, or the very first different uh, distance as uh, very high 999 and color is white so color is white why we haven't explored that so a color is going we are going to change the color based upon that at what node we are going to uh, we are going to start so let's say I want to find uh, the uh, the degree of separation between s and s and t node so we are going to start from s node so at that if, if the very beginning all the nodes will be uh, white with 999 distance and these are the co these are the conversion we are going to do in order to implement BFS so our initial condition is that a node is in the indefinitely distant and white so this is our initial condition so our each line in RDD, our each line in raw data, Marvel na Marvel names .txt file is going to convert like this. Okay. Now what we how we are going to uh, convert this? Uh, this was we we saw the algorithm, uh, the steps. How we are going to actually perform? We are going to write a method and name it as a convert to BFS. So what it is going to do, going to take? It is going to take each line of uh, our our raw data of our, our data set as a each line and it is going to uh, return as a BFS node we are going to see what is the type what is this type uh, let, let's uh, s watch this and so what we are going to do we are going to split because uh, this is the line we are splitting based upon regular expression and this regular expression is uh, basically it's telling that uh, go and split the line based upon uh, based upon a space because our uh, text file is separated with a space so this is the first field we are going to get and converting to int so this we are going to get as a hero id and the rest of the fields are uh, actually uh, the connections id so we want to con we want to 
create an array and we want to put into that for here we are I am taking a mutable array buffer why mutable array buffer because I want to keep adding to this item as I am looping through my all the connections for this particular line so where connections colon array uh, buffer uh, array buffer would be of integer uh, data type array buffer and as we are uh, so we have connections uh, uh, we are going to loop uh, for one to fills dot length minus one means we are excluding the hero ID apart from that whatever the uh, whatever the items are there we are going looping looping all the items and getting that particular value and adding to this array buffer so connections is going to become uh, we are going appending what we are appending uh, fills fills two fills three or fills four fills five up to up to what we have the connections for that particular hero ID then we are going to take a new variable and telling at the very first the uh, color would be white okay and the distance to uh, distance would be uh, 99999 so it is going to uh, make a color for each node as a white and distance uh, uh, as a 999 and let's say if we are trying to find out the degree of separation from where we want to actually access that uh, uh, other uh, superheroes are let's say from s so spider-man node spider-man nodes i want to know other how the superheroes are degree of separated how 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 degree of how many degree of separation uh, have been between uh, you know, super star uh, spider-man and other nodes so let's say my start character id is let's say si superman id if if we are we are uh, let's say we are transferring that particular line into that bfs node and and in <coughs> In that particular line, we find that we have a match for we for what start ID we are finding, so that becomes a that becomes the uh, current uh, iteration of that what uh, ID we want to f uh, find for degree of separation. So for that we are going to make the color, and this is the condition we are going to provide for that particular color because because we want to explore that particular color and make this color as a gray, and distance would be zero, because this hero ID and the start character ID both are same, means the degree of separation become between Spider-Man to Spider-Man is zero. So that's we are updating distance and zero, and fi finally we are returning hero ID means this this BFS node. This BFS node data structure is nothing but hero id comma the connections dot to array this again we are changing from mutable array buffer to immutable array uh, having connections dot to array so this will give me the list of connections then comma distance 999 and the comma color white if that particular hero id is matching with the start character id we are going to get color as a gray distance as a zero so this is what going uh, my map function is going to convert a Mar marvela graph dot txt to bfs nodes okay then we have to what we have to do we have to uh, la in, in last uh, video we have done a number of iterations in, in order to tra in order to traverse all the nodes same thing is going to happen we are going to uh, we are going to apply this same process iteratively unless until we are not going to find a match unless until we are not going to find find a match okay for what for what hero ID we were looking for the degree of separation if it hasn't matched let's repeat the process uh, uh, up to that so just like each step of our BFS example go through looking for gray nodes to expand so what we are going to do L let's say inside each node we have a uh, we have a connections of let's say 10 nodes so now my particular node is exploded or is being connected to 10 nodes now what may do what I have to do I have to move to the next nodes uh, connecting to that, uh, continuing, continuing, uh, connecting to that original original node, and what are the nodes connected? Then we have to uh, move one step ahead, and we have to explore now uh, what are the nodes connected to that particular hero ID. So that's what this uh, this uh, iterative uh, process is telling. Just like each step of our BFS example, go through looking for gray nodes to expand. So next, our the next nodes will become the connected nodes will become gray node, and the original node will become black. And we can say that that node uh, has been already exploded, or exp ha ha that node has been already explored and has been already visited. And color nodes we are done with black means the nodes we have done let's color the color with it black update the distance as we go let's say we move from this original node to the next connecting node so next connecting node distance become one and the color become uh, gray and the original node becomes black how we are going to uh, implement this iterative process by having mapper and reducer job so mapper and reducer job will finally uh, going to achieve this iterative process in each step like we have to find the uh, we have to expand the uh, 
uh, each hero id's connections then we have to traverse to that exploded nodes then we have to update the color and all those we are going to use uh, by we are going to complete this by uh, mapper and executor so what mapper is going to do it's going to create a new node so what it is going to create it is going to create nodes for each connection for each connection let's say for hero id 2 i have a connection id 3 4 5 6 7 8 so it is going and going to create a f each uh, is going to create a new node for each connection of gray nodes because all the ex all those nodes connected to this hero id 2 is going to explore with a distance incre incremented by one color gray and no connections okay so this has having no connection because this is connected to this particular map id colors the gray node we just processed black okay copies the node itself into the results so what we are going to do we are going to uh, copy the nodes itself into the results so colors the gray node we just processed black so what we have done we we colored the black uh, uh, we colored the black uh, as a node color for what we have started and this the connections the 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 nodes created for each connection is uh, going to color as a gray and again we are going to copy back the original node so we don't want to uh, lose that original nodes because uh, the original node is finally it's going to g tell that okay what is the degree of separation from this original node and reducer is what going to do so we have we found a lot of new nodes that's being exploded from the original node so f finally what we are going to do we are going to reduce that means we are going to combine all the nodes for the same hero id so let's say two hero id and we have connection of four five six hero id so we are going to we have created each node for four five six also not now what we are going to do by help of reducer we are going to combine we are going to combine all the nodes related to particular uh, hero ID same hero ID and preserves the shortest distance and we have to preserve the what are the distance we got in order to when we move from original hero ID node to three four five six and preserves the list of connections from the original node so what are the nodes actually connected means two two nodes actually connected to three four five six we are going to preserve that list of connections also so that's what we are going to achieve using mapper and reducer so and next uh, video we are going to actually write our spark code driver spark program in order to implement bfs and find the degree of separation between two superheroes between spider-man or thor between spider-man or iron man between spider-man or hulk so we are going to find out this degree of separations and what we are going to do i have already discussed in in this video in a detail in an algorithmic way in a what are the steps we are going to follow in this in the next in the next session let's see uh, let's meet and uh, do the actual coding and try to implement bfs in spark so that's all for this video thanks for watching have a good day bye